The next day. Hi, my lovely people. So I know you are wondering how did we ended up here. <laughs> yes. Mm. Uh, yesterday, uh, my village sister was uh, doing laundry, and I thought, well, why not, guys? Also, show you like um, how I also do my laundry. So this is an African thing. Um, let me let me let me put it that way. This is an African. Not the way I'm squatting, but anyway. So this is an African thing whereby all the African homestead, uh, this is how they do actually, this is how I do my laundry. Like actually this is how I clean. So what happens, be it like everywhere, where we are, whether you are in deep in the villages or whether you are in town or whether you are where, but unless you have a washing machine. But majority of African homes, um, we have this, washing machine <laughs> so yeah guys so right about now i was about to take to do the laundry and i thought of why not um, share with you guys so i want to show you so first and foremost what happened here is, um we separate clothes um the white ones that i start with usually me personally when i'm not soaking with the detergents that is maybe jig or something like that i start with the white that is if the whites are really really dirty but right now uh, the white ones here are not dirty that's why i'm not soaking them out so i just start with them i just wash them out. i'm just using a powder uh, soap to clean them out because they are ain't dirty and um, Another thing that I normally do, I, I, I separate these uh, clothes into different uh, segments. Like I put the white first, I, I put the t-shirts, I put the trousers, I put the dares, I put the abayas, and lastly my, my inner wears aside. So for me to make it uh, like an easy job. So right about now, we are having a problem with <laughs> the taps, the room water. So that's why I have some things to read here. And this clean up there so dirty because outside here it's so much dusty. Like literally, even if you clean them today too, like after two days, they just get the dust because of the dust outside. So guys, today um join me as I show you how we clean here in Africa. It's just simple easy, imagine. Just like this. Very, very easy. Actually, all African countries, not African countries, the one that I know, even back in my Uganda, like back in my shops in Uganda, this is how we do it. So guys, I am done uh, washing them the first time, second time. You can wash them even third time, but as I mentioned earlier, um, these ones are not dirty. So the water that I use to wash them is the same water that I've used to wash this one. See this one. As I mentioned, for you to save water and also take time, I don't know, but that's how we were taught back then we were still young. So the water that I used to wash this is the same water that I'm gonna use to wash this one. I've already washed uh, off camera. The so I just want to show you guys um uh, how I rinse them. So I said me, I'm going to use like a, a second round. So this is the first one. This is the first one, I put it there. Now I'm rinsing them off, like, um, they're really clean, but they still have this. Oh, this was cold. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's forgotten English. Okay. So for me, for them to be, not to have a lot of soap, um, the puff, is it puff? I don't know. So what I'm gonna do, I will, you see, you have to ensure that the water is, there is no soap. So what I'm gonna do, I have a basket with me, but um, you can put, you can decide to put them in a basin or a bucket. But uh, for me, I have a basket. Let me show you. Yeah. So this 
So this is what I use. But we have to rinse it first. We have to rinse it. Well, it's not that. This is the one that I use to store my dirty clothes. So I pile them up. If they are ready, the basket is full. I wash. Like generally, I just wash weekly. So yeah. So yeah, as simple as that. So let me just rinse them here. Then we go and hang them together. It's very clean. Even the water that looks very clean. Very, very, very clean. So let's rinse them out. Then we go and do what? And why do I put like one then I have to rinse up? I don't want the water to be to have a lot of what do we call it fat. So at this point uh, we can choose to add a stir fry detergent I mean if you want that is or if you but in Africa yeah, we don't need any detergent. So guys, uh, the process is just very, very simple. Okay. okay, this cleaner, usually you're supposed to wash in the morning. Okay, but I went to the market. I hope you watched the video. I went to the market in the morning. That's why I wasn't able to do wash but in an african culture you're supposed to wake up very early in the morning this is one of the part of the african morning routine like you wake up uh, you get the cattles out no cattles are about 10. you wake up you clean the utensils uh, the next thing is you do the laundry the next thing is you clean the house then you prepare breakfast, then the last thing is to take the kettle out to go and the grace to go. Is it for is it a grace and grace? <laughs> How did they say grace? Yeah. So as simple as that, yeah, guys. Then you're gonna hang them. I'm gonna show you. So this is what I'm going to repeat each and every time until I finish all this clothes. These are the clothes for one week. <laughs> hey, I know you're wondering why do I have so many clothes? Yes. Because if I put on one in the morning, in the evening, my dear, I go somewhere and remove it.
so guys i am just done with you see i'm done with hanging the white ones so i'm going to repeat the whole process so usually uh you can put them down on the floor but that one happens when the floor is grass uh, i don't know if you can see property properly okay you see how the i hang them yeah so they will be dry so fast because guys uh, it's there is still sun uh by around uh, 7 p.m right now it's 5 so by around 7 p.m uh the clothes will be ready so this is how we do it here <laughs> let me know how you do it back in your place so i'm gonna wait for not i'm gonna wait i'm going to bring the other ones the shirts the process i'll repeat it because i still have like two hanging lines and also i still have like four hanging lines so also here we share the hanging lines so the first one first come first serve there is nothing like uh, you know in africa it's not yours permanently so anyway guys uh, that's how we pretty hang it uh um how we do the laundry here so let's go and finish up the process then i'll see you guys later anyway i hope you're enjoying the video and in case you are doing so kindly kindly don't forget to subscribe guys remember subscribing is completely completely free and also let me know how do you do your laundry back in the village i'm not yet done after this there is another next step to come and unfold them and also to iron them if you want me to show you the process i will do that as well so but in the meantime let's finish up our cleaning the clothes.